Hi guys, welcome to Stana Share. Today we are going to see the continuation of Secret of a Pivot Boss book reading, chapter 10, Multiple Pivot Hot Zones. So till now, what all we have seen? We have seen the introduction of what is multi multiple pivot hot zone, and then we have seen the concept called power of confluence. So what is power of confluence? What is multiple pivot hot zones? Why he is bringing the topic here? All these introduction has been given in two videos kindly watch those videos for better understanding so that when we are moving into the next topic where we will be discussing about double pivot hot zones it will be very easy and very understandable uh, for you so watch those videos if you are watching these uh, secret of pivot boss book reading for the first time do watch the playlist which contains all the chapters except chapter 3 and chapter 4 so that you will be able to understand what this book actually contains what is pivots what are different types of pivots all those can be understandable over if you watch those videos and uh, now come let's move on to this video further which is called as double pivot hot zones here i think i'll try to make this video into two parts because a lot of theoretical explanations only are there and few examples of um, uh, double pivot hot zones are there so i'll i'll write uh, the, those examples whichever has been shown here are from 15 minutes chart and not and the specific uh, year was around 2010 8 and all those and uh, trading view does not allow me to show that so what i will do here is like uh, when i'm explaining certain levels i will go and um, uh, show the charts of nifty and current market whether those pivot levels are tested or not rather than uh, he showing his books videos uh, or, or charts which he has used if we if we, if we can see the those uh, pivots getting respected in live market or in the current market situation then that gives us complete confidence that okay these pivots are working and this can be combined so this is what uh, i wanted to tell you guys so watch the videos first and then come to this video and also whenever you are uh, listening to any of the pivot boss videos whatever i have uploaded make a note of some points okay just make a note that double pivot hot zone what is double pivot hot zone and just make a note of those and what are the resistances he is telling to concentrate how to concentrate what are the candlesticks he is asking us to concentrate all these you have you have to make a note of it and then when you apply it in the charts and see i will tell you choose nifty or i don't recommend bank nifty or bank stocks or financial stocks so it's up to you guys if you wanted to do but I would prefer you guys to use Nifty itself because those are highly uh, volatile. So prefer Nifty. And what I would say is like go to Nifty just to select the levels or the resistances or supports or the pivots and see how the market has reacted at those levels. Okay. Let's say for example, just take the for November month and see how the market has reacted. And if the November month has a bullish trend, go to some month where it was a bearish trend, downtrend and check for that particular month how the pivots are respected. That will give you a confidence to go for a trade or not. Clear? Now let us move further into this book, uh, Double Pivot Hot Zones. So in this, chap uh, in this particular topic, what he is actually trying to cover is when two pivots meet at the same place okay that is what has been mentioned in power of confluence power of confluence he was telling basically any indicator or any two indicators when it is coming at the same place the price will react in a better way in that zones so that was called as the power of confluence okay say for example you are using a cpr and one more person is using a camera law and one more person is using a moving average and one more person is using money zone levels if all these levels say that at this particular value the market looks like there is a support zone is formed then that is that can give you um, a, a, a good trade where all these people will will be coming to buy at this place and if suppose the support is completely broken then people will be like changing their view to selling side so that is where he is telling that the power of confluence is where it is a place where multiple pivots or multiple indicators come to a certain area of interest which gives you a um, good trading opportunity and that is what he is trying to say here so 
here he is going to combine two pivot pairings okay double pivot hydrogen is nothing but two pivot he is going to uh, combine it so here it, two pivots in the sense two supports or two resistance level okay so these two pivots if they are coming at the same place then that is ex, ex, then that that point is expected to have a significant level where you might expect a support or resistance activity to take on okay and one more thing what you need to understand here is like here we are going to combine pivots, um, floor pivots and camarilla pivots. So we are not going to consider CPR for now. Okay, in double pivot hot zones, we are not going to consider CPR range, central pivot range. We are not going to con consider. We are either going to consider resistances R1, R2, R3, R4, and along with that H3, H4, L3, L4, uh, or we will also combine. Floor pivots R1, R2, R3, R4 with virgin point of control or volume point of control. So all these will be considered. Okay. So you have to understand what are the hidden factors mentioned in this video. Say for example, if you read this line, the market may see resistance in an area that consists of the R2 and H4 levels. Okay. So first of all, you have to go and watch the video of um, uh, camera law okay in camera law what we have told is that um, market sorry h3 is going to be the reversal layer where any res any uh, rejection at the h3 level is going to act as a um, uh, resistance layer and h4 is going to be the breakout layer okay whatever we have learnt in this book is that whenever prices face uh, come near to h3 it is called as a resistance layer where reversal might happen and whenever price goes to this zone that is called as the breakout layer where breakout is expected to happen that is what the book has given given you uh, and you guys have understood in that way that is called as bluntly understanding it without understanding the actual market criteria okay i'll tell you one more thing let us let us let us what we can do is let us okay let us go to daily chart okay initially this is the resistance zone okay initially this is the resistance zone so what is expected is that at this zone the market might reject and come out or might go above as a breakout and come for a retest so resistance does not always means it has to reject Support does not always means it has to take support. So any breakout, any breakdown, it is also possible. So you need to be prepared of that. That is why what he has told here is the market may say resistance in an area that consists of R2 and R H4. That means don't glow blindly and decide that H H4 is going to be a breakout layer. So I will go only for buy zone. Okay, H4 is a resist, H4 is a breakout layer, but that does not mean you always should go for a buying activity over there. It is basically a resistance zone, it might get rejected also. So you need to wait for that opportunity. And H3 is a resistance layer, that does not mean it always will, re will reject. If you see this particular point, this is resistance H3 where reversal is expected. Market went above it and then started getting support at this place. That means resistance is converted to support. These are hidden factors which he was thinking. Frank Chochova while writing he was thinking that these hidden things let the persons or let the people who's over is reading this book let them understand on their own. But what we basically do is like we go and read the chapter and we see that okay this is what told this is what told so h3 is the resistance layer so whenever the prices come towards h3 i will sell it it is going to come down right so i will sell it no it does not mean that if h3 is broken and closed and if any any rejection or any pullback towards h3 is going to be a buying opportunity because resistance is converted to a support so you need to wait for an opportunity and that is where he has discussed about lot of reversal candlesticks okay he has if you go to chapter 2 you can understand about weak reversal extreme reversal doji reversal outside reversal setups so all these you you can just go into those chapters and understand even here if you see bullish weak reversal bullish doji reversal bullish weak reversal, this indicator has all those information 
clear so you need to understand what is that okay so here again one more thing what i will do is like let this these are h3 h4 and l3 l4 which is camarella pivots okay now let me activate cpr also cpr pivots not the cpr range i'm not activating cpr range i'm going to activate only the cpr pivot supports and resistances not the cpr range okay let me activate it and i'm going to activate only r1 and r2 s1 and s2 why because h3 and h4 whatever analysis i've done till now it is it has not crossed about r2 and s2 h3 h4 l3 l4 lies between r2 and s2 and that is why i have not included r3 and r4 and let me remove all this um, uh, candlesticks information let let's have a clear chart why why do we need to um, complicate it that is all the, that is all my uh, criteria okay i think the layers are bit uh, visible uh, okay so the this dark one is h r2 this is r1 this is uh, sorry this is r1 okay let me differentiate it i do not know how to differentiate it okay let me put this in second layer and this in second layer so r1 and r2 in second layer s1 and s2 in second layer now h3 and h4 let it be in single layer okay so this is r1 and r2 this is uh, s1 and s2 this is h l3 this is h3 this is h4 and this is l4 okay so this is what it, it has been so now what is happening is like we have r1 and r2 s1 and s2 supports and resistances of floor pivots it is calculated with a different formula and we have camera law pivots it is calculated with a different formula but if those two uh, pivots lie at the same place then the confluence is higher the power of confluence is higher that means the candles reacting at those zones are at a higher r, r has a significant value over there okay let me see see for example uh, in this particular chart we have not seen much of uh, activity but if you come over here this is l4 and this is s1 both are not lying at the same place but both are very close and at this place the market at the first 15 minutes actually fallen nearly 100 points but after it touched this place it started taking support consolidated for some time and then started moving up so this is what he is telling that tip the market react to this level the market whenever the prices approaches to this level it will react to this it, it, it will react to this level okay this dual pivot zones are strong enough to influence a market to for a reversal opportunity and you also need to understand in a very clear way he is using double pivot hot zones for reversal opportunity so you need to make sure that you have to find some good reversal setups so for that to find the good reversal setups you need to understand what is reversal candlesticks so if you see for example if you go to extreme reversal setup chapter these three candles are very small this candle is the extreme reversal can ex, this reverse, this candle is the extreme candle and this is the reversal candle clear so the you have to understand the extreme reversal cell candlesticks and where it is happening it is happening at the double pivot hot zone so you have to make use of that clear? and that is what he is explaining in his example in 10.1 where uh, this is double pivot hot zones where any pivots both any pivots like uh, this is an example so he has not mentioned which is r1 or r2 or s1 or s2 nothing he's just saying both he's just saying that two pivots forming a resistance or two forming a support but the opportunity comes when an extreme reversal or a doji reversal or a wick reversal happens so here the reversal setup happens this is the bearish engulfing pattern and this is the extreme setup which is happening and 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 that and this point where another two pivots are happening he could see a reversal setup happening and then only he's initiating a trade so you can read this lastly while a double pivot hot zone may indicate a major area of confluence okay double pivot zone is going to indicate that that there is a major area of confluence there is some reversal can happen okay you still want to see the confirmation he is saying double pivot zone does not mean that you have to blindly go into reversal zone you have to see the conf confirmation at this level level while one of our candlestick setups has to form okay so double pivot hot zones possesses major confluence area 
possesses reversal opportunity but without the candlestick setups what he has explained in this video if you go for it then that is that is a very bad criteria you have taken okay so in the example whatever he has done he is in outside reversal setup triggers a bounce at both extremes okay and however the wick the extreme and doji reversal setups can also trigger entries as well clear so you have to be very careful uh, just because we are discussing about double pivot hard zone does not mean that you have you have to go and take the trade blindly you have to wait for candlestick patterns and accordingly based on the candlestick patterns happen you have to take a trade clear so this is what is called as double pivot hard zones i am stopping it here okay because this is these are all very theoretical concepts i have explained with our chart also i am stopping it here and next part i'll be discussing about few of the examples which is which he has given in that examples i will tell you which all he has he has actually noticed and which all we can also notice in our nifty chart or any other stock specific chart okay so if you feel any if you feel the content is good kindly give a like share and subscribe and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section so that i will be trying to help you on that clear and in the next topic we will be see the continuation of double pivot hot zones thanks a lot stay tuned for more